Dear Scientist from the Future, tell us more about movement. All right. Through the trinity of the wholeness preserving movement, there is appearance. Trinity refers to the unmanifest, the manifest, and its dynamics. Appearance is like a mirror where wholeness can see itself from particular angles. The wholeness preserving movement is the movement of wholeness from itself to itself in a creative, non-trivial way. It is such that it moves, apparently expanding, preserving all structure, but appearing as something else. Then it realizes that it is in fact itself. And all that is in wholeness is also reflected in the appearance. There is no way of separating the appearance from the wholeness. This, as we discussed at an earlier time, comes from being and because being is unique. It therefore creates the holographic type of order. The movement appears to expand. This is because that is the only way it can maintain all relations and structures of the holographic order. It appears to expand from the perspective of parts, but since it is a wholeness preserving movement, wholeness is preserved and not expanded. The creative and apparent movement that seems expansive is made possible only due to the limit of definability. What is too well defined can only be moved to itself. As the limit of definability is reached, it allows for the possibility of movement to something other than itself. This expansive movement creates apparent holes in the appearance, the mirror where wholeness sees itself which make representation, or the appearance, as something possible. Thus the nature of preserving all is what gives rise to the apparent expansion from the viewpoint of parts and to the lack of information in the appearance, or manifestation. Thus, ultimately, both entropy increase and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle originate from the preservation of wholeness. The uncertainty principle is a natural consequence of appearance and of coming from a holistic wholeness, where some smallest identifiable parts are not possible. The reductionistic idea of smallest identifiable parts is equivalent to locality and causality, which are concepts that can only be used on a larger scale, but do not hold true in your physical world in general. It is a residue of an old paradigm, just like Aristotle's presented the idea that things tend to stop. Only later was it recognized by Newton that things tend to continue moving unless a force acts on them. Since reductionism worked so well for so many approximations, it is easy to want to hold on to it. So, the expansive movement creating self-awareness is all in the moment, which gets its apparent existence from the real being of the nameless wholeness. And this is why this is the only way you can experience in the now. 
The now is the only thing that ever appears real. All nows are different ways of looking at the moment. So, being comes from a nameless totality beyond the trinity of the homeless preserving movement. But it comes in a non-causal way, thus creating the holographic order. Awareness as something arises through the wholeness preserving movement. This means that all that is ever expressed and appears is a part of the self-awareness process of wholeness mirroring itself. All of this happens in the now. But again, due to wholeness being whole, a structure appears among all the different ways in which wholeness can look at itself. That structure is then reflected in all appearance, including the mental and physical world, and whatever other universes may exist.